What is going on guys? As you can tell by the title of today's video, we're gonna be installing aftermarket paddle shifters on an Audi S3, but you can do this on an A3, an S3, an RS3, as long as you have a car that already has paddle shifters in it, you can retrofit these on. Now, you can also do these on retrofitted wheels. So if your car, let's say an A3, didn't have paddle shifters and you get a wheel that does, you can then swap out the old ones for the new ones. Now, as you guys, if you've watched my previous video installing a uh, aftermarket carbon fiber wheel, you'll know that I have a plug named Pristina, which I'll show you at the end of the video how to actually purchase these for super cheap. These are only 120 bucks and they are awesome. As you guys can see here, these are what these bad boys look like. These are pretty much an OEM Audi paddle shifter and they retrofit a carbon fiber overlay onto it. As you guys can see, this is a legitimate Audi OEM shifter here. And I'm gonna show you how to install both of these onto a, um, a Audi steering wheel. Now, the first step in order to actually take the paddle shifters off, you have to take this entire wheel off, which is pretty easy to be honest with you. Now, the first thing we need to do is take the airbag off. And in order to do that, you wanna start the car and turn the wheel all the way to the right and you'll actually feel the hole behind here, which I'll show you in a second. The next thing is slide the steering wheel as far out and down as you can so you have enough room to stick a screwdriver, a flathead behind it. All right, so with the steering wheel as far out and down as you can, you'll notice the hole right here. This is what we're gonna have to do and you wanna take a screwdriver and you're gonna put it in there, it's a little clip. You're gonna push down and the front of the steering wheel, or the front of the airbag will pop out on one side, turn the wheel the other way, pop the other side out, and the whole the whole uh, airbag will actually come out. All right, so we put this in here, and then eventually it'll undo itself. So now you can see we have one side of this airbag out. Now there's kind of like three clips here. I know some people get a little bit, uh, uh, they get stuck. So you're gonna have to keep working on it. So you can always push it back in and you have to just keep doing this. And here we go. Now we have more of it out. We're gonna start the car, turn it the other way, and then we're gonna do it again. Now we're only popping this out with the, with the car battery on. Then we'll go back and turn the car off. So here we go. So now this is out fully. But before we start disconnecting anything, we want to undo the battery. But put the wheel back straight and then you can take this out. So just leave it here for right now and go. This is major important. Any airbag work when you see a yellow cable means you have to disconnect the battery. You don't want these exploding or giving you an airbag light. So let's go disconnect the battery. All right, so using a 10 millimeter, we're just gonna disconnect the negative cable really quick, making sure, well, eventually, we can pull this off here. There we go. We're gonna put this cover back on so that the ground doesn't make connection with anything by accident. And now we should be good. Now, uh, just as a safety precaution, wait about 10 minutes to let kind of whatever electric kind of discharge from the car and then we can start playing around with the airbag. So after waiting about 10 to 15 minutes, we're gonna slowly pull this out. There's gonna be, I believe, two connectors here, which we're gonna have to disconnect. The first one, as you can see, is yellow. And you can either use a small screwdriver or a pick. And all you're doing is putting the pick right under here, under this white tab, and we're gonna pull up and that disconnects it. And now we're gonna pull towards you. So now we have successfully disconnected the power going to the airbag. The second thing we're gonna have to do is right here. As you can see, we're still attached right here. So you just wanna pull this out and we're gonna disconnect this tab. Now, in order to do that, you can see there's a little metal clip right there. We're gonna shove this under here to give it some space and pull towards you. Here we go. We've successfully taken off an Audi airbag. All right, so this is an optional but recommended step. You can obviously access these paddle shifters. It's not so obvious, but you can access these paddle shifters without taking the wheel off. But just for convenience sake, I recommend taking it off. Now, Audi uses a special bolt. It's called the triple square. This is what it looks like. It's an M12, fits right in here. You need a bit of force here. I'm actually gonna get an extension and then we're gonna come back and crack this and pull the wheel off. All right, so with a bit of force, we're gonna crank this a little bit. I'm gonna hold the wheel with my knees. Okay, we're through. You gotta use a bit of force. You wanna keep it tight on here. So we can just unscrew this bolt. As you guys can see, this is the bolt. Now, very simply, we can just go like this. Now, something to remember, this is your clock spring. Very 
sensitive, very delicate. You can put a piece of tape over here, but as you can see, it moves. We don't, you do not want to mess with this because if it gets turned in any position, when you go to reassemble, you'll break it and you just don't want to deal with that. So go put a piece of tape over this, make sure it doesn't move and do not play with this at all. All right, so what I have here is a like trim kit to remove plastic trims without damaging anything. It didn't come with these. I actually got these at Harbor Freight earlier and then I got this kit. But this kit's awesome for working on stuff. I'll link it down in the description. It's like 20 bucks on Amazon. But we're gonna use a plastic pry tool. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take out this black, you know, piano black trim from here. We're gonna pull this out and then we're gonna take these buttons out. Then we can reach the paddle shifters. All right, so when you take this piano black trim out, it is in there tight. So, you know, you, you gotta be delicate but you also need to apply a decent amount of pressure to pull this out. So you might feel like you're breaking it. You just kind of have to find a happy medium because it is in there pretty, pretty tightly. But as you can see, I popped these side buttons out already. It's kind of the first step. And now we want to lightly tug the trim just all around here, slowly work our way. Now it might be easier for some, it might be harder for others, but as you can see, doing it just like this, we're now officially out the plastic trim. Now, we can pull this white cable here, which is only just tucked in there. And these are what connects the buttons. With the white cables out, the last step, as you can see, if I flip it around, we have little clips right here in white. These are what connects the paddle shifters. So we're just gonna pull this one out on that side, pull it out on the other side, and we're fully disassembled. Now we can officially access the paddle shifters in the back. All right, now using a T20, we can unscrew the two screws, one here, and then there's one over here. It shouldn't be in there too tight. Yeah, just like that. Just need to get these two screws out somehow. Okay, that's one, got the other one. Now with those screws out, the paddle shifters should really come out pretty easily. You just kind of pull them like this and they should pull out just like that. That's one, same thing on this side, kind of go in the direction it takes you and then Here's the second one. And now you've officially removed your old paddle shifters. Now just do everything in reverse and we'll get these new ones in. So in a similar sense, this will go in like so eventually, just like that. That's one. Now we're gonna do the other side and you kind of want to string this through here. You can kind of see how that looks. Then you want to take the string, put it through here, not the bolt hole, and it should pop in like that. Now you have fully assembled paddle shifters, put the two screws back in, use a T20 and you'll be good to go. All right, so once your paddle shifters are installed, you now gotta put this back, which is pretty simple. First thing we wanna do in reverse order, we have to connect the new shifters back in. See if I can do this and be on camera at the same time. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but you'll get it eventually. It's one, yeah, backwards, that's why. Okay, now we're in, we're gonna put the wheel here. And we're gonna shove this white thing back where it was, kind of there, kind of there. Now just take your time with this and make sure everything is in where it's supposed to go. As you can see, you gotta really push it in there. It only goes in one way. And then for this too, you can see there's actually a track here that it goes on just like this. So just get that in there positioned. And then this will actually close on top of it. And as you can see too, there are spots that these are supposed to go. So make sure everything is pushed down slowly and evenly and together, and you'll have no problem putting it all back in. And then the last step, once it's all kind of together, you can give it a, a good once over. Make sure everything is in. And you wanna push these buttons in, ready? Clicked in, clicked in. Now we are good to go. So this is an important step. You're gonna have to get real close here. Hopefully it focuses, but do you see right there, there's a little notch here. And then if you look on the wheel, there's also a little notch right here. That's, you need to align both of those so that this is correct. So as you can see, the notches are aligned. I might try moving it one let now. It's about as aligned as it can get. But once that's aligned, then you can go and torque the bolt down. Now retorque the bolt, get that bolt in, bolt in there. And you really want to get this tight. You really want it tight. So get that over there. We're going to tighten this down. All right, should be good. Now we want to put the airbag back on. So what you're going to do is this is the first clip that goes in. So you can pull this back out here and we're going to clip this back in. Only goes one way where that little notch is, goes in here. That's clipped in. 
we can then put that clip back, push it in, push the wire down, and then we clip this in, slide it over first. Once it's in, remember always push this white clip in after. You have to, otherwise you're gonna get an airbag light. Now this goes in one way and you're gonna hear a clip. Now we're in, we're good to go. You've a fully assembled your steering wheel with your new paddle shifters. Now, a question I get asked a lot, what happens? Why are there so many codes on the car? I'll show you how to get rid of them. So we're gonna reconnect the battery, get that bad boy tight. Good to go. Cover it back up. And now let me show you what happens when you turn the car on. Don't be alarmed, it's totally normal. All right, so here's what I'm talking about. When you start the car, you're gonna see a bunch of codes. Stabilization, control malfunction, hill hold assist unavailable, passenger airbag is good, obviously. We got a passenger, that's why. Audi pre-send system, TPMS. Look at all the codes we're getting. I know, scary, right? Let me show you how to fix it when this goes away. All right, so simply put the car in drive or in reverse here. We're gonna back up and watch what starts to happen. As you turn the wheel, watch the codes, what happens to them. To drive, see all the codes on the dash? It's like a Christmas tree. Look, they all, some of them are going away. Watch what happens. Look at that. A quick drive, all the codes go away. If it doesn't happen to you, just turn the wheel all the way to the right, all the way to the left, and then finally, they'll all clear. It's just what happens every time you disconnect the battery. It kind of resets everything in the car. Make sure the paddle shifters work. We're in D1 or D2. Back down to D1. Look at that back into drive two and we are good to go. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna complete how to install aftermarket paddle shifters on an A3, S3, RS3. As you guys can see, we already have a custom carbon fiber steering wheel with our custom paddle shifters. The only thing missing is a custom airbag, which we will do in another video on the channel. So stay tuned and make sure to subscribe. Now, if you wanna know where to pick one of these up for a good price, maybe five, 600 bucks for a uh, custom carbon fiber steering wheel, which is really hard to find. I have a connect and I'm gonna show you it later on in today's video where you can get that. So keep that in mind. Also on this Audi S3, we're gonna be doing a big brake upgrade kit for some RS3 brakes. Can it be done? I'm not sure, but we're gonna attempt it. So make sure to stay tuned and I'll show you how to, where you can get all this stuff right after this. Now, for all those wondering where and how I got the steering wheel, I'm in a lot of Audi A3, S3, RS3 groups, and I found this automotive page because she was promoting it in a group. This is her page. It's called Modified Car Show, as you guys can see here. She sells a ton of stuff and she's from Shenzhen, China, and works directly with the actual factory that makes this stuff, which is super cool. Literally click in here. I'll have a link to this down in the description below. Make sure to check it out. Use code Hayden, mention Hayden, H-A-Y-D-E-N, in the messages here. Just click message and message her and let her know that I sent you and you'll be able to get a discount, which is super cool. You can see she has a ton of really cool products here. You could probably email her as well if you wanted that option, but your best bet is to click message because she's super active on uh, the page here. But this is all the stuff that she got. This is everything that I got. My wheel came assembled with the buttons but you can choose to get the buttons yourself and install them in if you want to do that. But they have a ton of super cool Audi products for the A3, the S3, the RS3, for all other Audi products as well, BMW. I mean, they have everything. So it's really cool. Highly recommend checking it out down in the comments below. And I'm saying her because the actual owner of this page is called Christina Chen. And I believe if I can find it, this is her right here. You can either message her directly. This is who I usually speak to. And she was able to send this to me. I sent her uh, a PayPal business. She sent me her link, uh, a long email. I paid her on PayPal business and it came to me in about two to three weeks. She sent me tracking and she's super legit and super reliable. So I highly recommend using her or messaging Modified Car Show to get your wheels. And besides, 
Besides the steering wheel, you can see on Modified Car Show, not only has she posted that video, which is doing incredibly well, so make sure to check this out if you want to see how to install, you know, the buttons like that, so on and so forth. But as we scroll down, you can see she's got a lot of new cool stuff, even for Volkswagen now. And if any, if we ever see the paddle shifters, I don't know, maybe they'll pop up on here, but I'm gonna show you my text between her just to show you the legitimacy. Legitimacy she has, you can see here, the shift knob, which is super cool, tons. And I mean tons of customization for things. We can even, maybe if we go to photos super quick, where's photos, here we go. You can see on photos everything that she's got. I mean, she's got a ton of stuff, and they can do pretty much anything and everything you want, which is awesome. Even forged carbon fiber, custom colored paddle shifters. She has tons of different options for carbon fiber, which is awesome. You can see the paddle shifters here that she's showing you tons. Look at this. They got gold flake. Everything you could think of Tesla, they have BMW. So if you have a Tesla or you know someone, definitely make sure to let them know. Obviously, make sure to mention my name yet again for a discount here. You can see the paddle shifters. She has a ton. You can ask her, hey, what paddle shifters do I have? Do you have? And she'll show you all the ones that she has currently available. You can see with my messages right on the side, she is a perfectionist, so she likes to send you stuff that is top quality, which I love about Christina. So you can see here, she didn't send me the first pair because there was a tiny little speck uh, messed up on it. And I was like, oh, I didn't even see that, whatever. But she shipped them to me. You can see right here, she, you know, corrects them. She sends you the photos of what it looks like. She even gives you the tracking. And I just wanted to show you these are the ones that we installed. And yeah, so make sure to check her out ASAP. With that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, guys. I'll answer all your questions down in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.